some Christmas hand pies. You're going to take some puff pastry. Now, I got this off the country cook. She used pie pastry, but I don't have pie pastry. I have the this puff pastry, which works just as good because I've made hand pies before with puff pastry. You're just going to roll it out some on a floured surface. Don't roll it too thin, but roll it some. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a cookie cutter. You can use any kind of cookie cutter you want. Um, I got this Christmas tree one. You can use a Santa Claus one. Any kind you want. Here is a snowman. Maybe I'll make a couple of snowmen too. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make... Take your cookie cutters and press in there. And then I'll make some snowmen. I'll kind of like pull it out a little bit. Because you need one for the top and one for the bottom. I'll use the Santa Claus one too. You have three different shapes. Yeah, let me do. I got enough here, the bottom here. Okay, so you see how I press down on that? Now you're gonna make sure your dough is. Cold, but if you have to use scissors in your kitchen shears to cut around the designs because sometimes you're going to tear out right I guess all right so I'm going to place those on a parchment paper on a cookie sheet And see, you just take it out like that. You just have to do it carefully. You just need to use your kitchen shears to get a little design out then. Alright, so I'm going to finish getting these off of here and then I'll be back. I have more dough, so what you could do is uh, knead it back together and then roll it out and make some more puff pastry. Just do like that. So I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator and let it get cold. Now the next step is you're going to take any kind of pie filling, I'm using blueberry, any pie filling you want, and add some to the center along like that, but you don't want it too close to the edge because you don't want it to... Uh, to come out like that. 
It don't take much. Whatever's left, I'm going to put in the mason jar and put it in the refrigerator. Okay. So just a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place this over the top like this. Trying to make it as even as you can. Have your oven preheating at 400 degrees. It's going to be messy. Okay. Trying to do like that. So you can see. Take you an egg wash. I got one egg and one teaspoon of water here. I'm just going to do like this around the edges. This will help seal it. I probably should have done that before. I put the tops on, but oh well. It's alright. And then you take and put some egg wash over the top. Take you a fork to seal. You want to crimp the edges. You got some peeling coming in, just try to get what you can in, but if a little bit comes out, it's not going to be a big deal. And then I'm going to put some holes in the top, like that, so that it won't bust open. Do one more. Do this one. Yeah. I should have done this before I put the top on it. No, well, I didn't. Seal it. I overfilled it. Oh well. It happens. Now you're going to put this in your 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to check them at 15. They're done. I just took them out of the oven. You can see what they look like. That doesn't really look like a snowman. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to let them cool off. <laughs> that looks more like a Christmas tree than it does a snowman, but that is supposed to be a snowman. <laughs> We're going to make the icing to go in it. I got a quarter cup powdered sugar here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream or you can use milk. Just add a little bit more. Oh, 
only took about half a teaspoon. It's a little too thick for me, so I'm going to add a little bit more. See how I'm doing? I'm just adding a little bit at a time. Now, if you want to make this into Christmas colors, you can add red or green. I'm just going to add two drops of, I got this food gel colors, they're Christmas colors. Or you can make two different bowls and make red and green. This always comes out pink. It does not come out red. Add a couple of more. See if that will help. Probably should have used the green. It never comes out red for me. It comes out this like a rose color paint, but that's okay. I don't I don't really care. They're not going to anybody. I just added a little bit more milk to make it a little bit more runnier. Because I wanted to drizzle over the um, pies. You want it to be like that, so where it, it runs less, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go on and. Drizzle the icing on it while it's on the parchment paper. And that's what they look like. I'm going to try it for you. I'm going to eat the snowman. Ah, I don't know. Mm. These are so good. I'm going to make more with the dough that I have in the refrigerator. But you can make these. And have them on your table for uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas morning and people will enjoy them they're really good thank you for watching if you're not subscribed I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video bye